We got everything we need right here. Hi guys, this is my Iceland final chapter. You will see the magic of this unreal country. This is our last day and we have many things to see starting with the black sand beach. the northern lights we were waiting for hours and hours and hours from nine o'clock and right now we parked the car here because we are going to the black sand beach let's see if it looks like i imagined in my head hi guys <laughs> you can see the black sand here you can also see like a very specific rocks over there everyone takes pictures you can also see a cave over there and you can walk all the way there it's a super long beach but you have to be very careful with the deadly ah, sneaker waves it, there was a story like an Iceland, icelandic story that if you like if you put it's not a story it's a scientific fact it killed another man okay it's a scientific fact that if you put your back like what like me right now no 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 no, no. the ghost will take you it was a it's sand. called scientific sneaker waves Okay, jokes aside, sneaker waves are deadly and can appear suddenly without warning. This poster explained everything super clearly, so please guys, if you come here, be very careful. My mom is recollecting stones. Something which is not deadly on this beach. The contrast between the black sand and the white waves is amazing. These rocks were without a doubt the highlight of this place. The shape they have is amazing and it almost looks like someone has drawn them. So we are in Vic village. Only 300 people live here. We stopped to put some oil to the, to the car. Hi guys, so now I'm in the toilet because we have a very, very long day. We're going to make the golden tour. I'm a bit disappointed because I expected a big village, but my mistake, I should have Googled better. Before continuing with our tour, we went to a small restaurant and we had soup, bread and butter and a carrot cake for dessert. Everything was just delicious. Wow! Our next stop was the Carrot Crater. It is a small crater but the view from the top is impressive. The colors of the earth are very interesting and the lake inside was still frozen. So we are on the top of the crater and now nowadays it's like a small lake and it's frozen because it's very cold. Oh no! Anxiety creeps up on me Is this how it's supposed to feel? Tell me when it's over I got some place that I gotta be It won't leave My friends say Well, we didn't go down the crater because we have many things to see and we're afraid that it will get dark so we're going to see the waterfalls, the geyser and the national park I don't have an umbrella. It's raining a lot, but I hope we can see the waterfall, which is bigger than the ones we saw yesterday. Here we are in the middle of nowhere. Guys, look at this car. Right before the waterfalls, there was a souvenir shop with a lot of food, chocolates, honey, herbs, socks, hats, and many other traditional Icelandic things. So I bought a hat and a local chocolate. Good 
Bulfos, translated as Golden Falls, is one of Iceland's most iconic and beloved waterfalls. They can be seen from above and from a little below. Guys, look at this. This is so impressive. My hands are super cold and my family is going, but I wanted to show you the amazing waterfall we have here. just parked here actually we passed the place they were asking me is this the place is this the place I said no because I just saw like you know a little bit of um, oh what's the name I will put it here I thought it was like bigger like you know a big gazer but now I see that many people are waiting and you have to wait for 10-15 minutes and it goes up all of a sudden guys I think it's starting to go up now now we have been in the coldest waterfall it was with ice and now we're going to see like the geyser which is basically very very hot water from under the ground going up so i understand why this country is called the land of ice and fire so you basically wait <laughs> ah yeah you didn't catch it <laughs> Finally, we saw how the geyser exploded very strong and we decided to wait for more. Everything we need right here, wine and burning chemistry. You and we're just so wet. Yes. My mom says that my birthday, like it's a good sign for my birthday, that it's going to be yes. positive. You have to comment below what you think about this. So basically, after waiting for seven minutes, we only saw a small explosion. Hey, ha sido pequeño. So we, here you have the little geyser, and it's like smaller. You can see it; it moves all the time. We also saw natural pools with beautiful colors. Bless it. Wow. Uh, wow. I think we catch it. So these are like small swim swimming pools. Look at the colors. We think it's because the minerals and it's super hot between 80 and 100 degrees. So don't go inside, guys. We are warming up with this thing right now. Wow. This was our last stop because the weather doesn't allow us to go to the national park. We will leave it for our next trip and we're going to Reykjavik again to the capital city To an amazing restaurant And I want to go to a vegan restaurant so let's see what we find Chocolate with toffee and sea salt Tony, try Thank you Mami, for you Thank you Maviki, for you Thanks Okay, what do you think? It's interesting oh, I like it A nice touch right. Nice? We finally arrived in the capital city to have dinner in a very cool place. Look at the street out here. And our restaurant is on this street to the left. As you can see today is Saturday and there are many people, there is many life, much life, a lot of decorated bars. So this is the restaurant where we are going to have dinner for my birthday. Look at the street. The vegan restaurant was small but very very cozy. The warm colors and decoration were perfect. Uh, chickpeas, blueberries, dates, red peppers, cabbage. red cabbage. This is like the rainbow salad. Here we have hummus and bread. Watch the neon light. Touch your ones like a Happy birthday to you. This was one of my favorite trips ever. I feel that I didn't see anything, so I hope to come back one day. And this place is amazing. We saw the city at night. It's full with people, with life. I'm very grateful for my birthday, for this trip, for the food, for the cake.
look at this cute street. I imagine this city like super boring and like dark, but it's full of lights, full of people. All the shops are so cute, the style. It's like everything in this city is cozy, like the bars, the restaurants, the people. Watch me, listen in the colors, lightning. 